Hi there! How are you? I hope you're doing all right and you're doing very good. <laughs> it's so awkward still to say hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Toriko, but you also can call me Victoria as you wish. Oh my god, it's so awkward. I don't know when we'll get used to do this kind of welcome intro. Maybe soon, maybe later, maybe never, who knows. In this video, I really want to talk about mental health, especially how you treat your mental health. Are you ignoring the signs that maybe, maybe, maybe you need help? Maybe you suffer through something? Or if you can, help yourself. And it's alright, it happens maybe you need to ask help from the therapy so let's go i remember as a teenager i wasn't that energized as long as i remember myself but my dad always keeps saying that when i was a very little i was very energized happy smiley brave girl and when i'm listening his stories about this feels like unreal me i'm like okay okay i was energized wow i was smiley wow i was happy oh my god <laughs> I really remember how I was feeling that I might need some help even though my parents were very supportive especially my mom she was like a psychologist for me already but you know this feeling that even if you are in a good relations with your parents there is not that many topics there is not everything that you can talk about with your parents and like some family members or some close friends it's not like it's not enough but it's just not that help that you exactly need you need a professional help and i was feeling it i was feeling that i might need a psychologist i might need a therapy but why when i'm filming finally i found the focus I found the right angle, I did amazing makeup, clothes. My cat decided to use his goddess litter. For fuck's sake, you mean. <sighs> so, as I was saying, when I was a teenager, I really felt like I need some help as a therapy need some professional help but i was so shy to say that to my parents like i don't know when i realized that maybe when i was 14 13 or sort of like that 16 for sure i was so shy to come to my mom and say like hey mom i think i need a therapy because i suffer from some anxiety, depression, bad thoughts, which is like, you know, those like uh, dark voices which like uh, whispering something bad to you, saying that, oh, you're ugly, you're disgusting, you don't deserve being happy, whatever, all this like voice without any specific reason. <laughs> I was really shy to say it. I thought actually, okay, maybe I'm being dramatic. Maybe it's not that necessary. Maybe it will finish in one moment. It will just will disappear by some kind of magic. And that's it. I thought that I can handle it by myself. But of course, I chose the most wrong path and it's basically ignore my problems which means that I was suffering from, again, a deep anxiety and stress in school, stress at home and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do anything with that I'm cool, I'm fine, I can survive alright but it's not alright it 
it's not all right when i became like 18 i barely knew how to properly uh, play with the feelings what i mean by playing with the feelings just like exactly control them it was so easy for me to cry it was really easy for me to get upset i was very emotional i was taking everything so close to my heart and i decided in one moment shut my emotions which was again bad idea because by shutting your emotions you don't resolve your problems you just uh, putting them away in a dark corner hoping that they will never show up they will never remind you about themselves but no in this dark corner where you always try to hide emotions being some kind of like a thunder woman those things are growing in that shadow they're growing in that emotion like some kind of <laughs> like some kind of uh, sponge something which like growing massively and then pushing you and you can just lose control you're becoming even more emotional you're becoming more angry passive aggressive aggressive more anxious more depressive more emotional not in a good way of course or in one moment feels like all the emotions just disappeared and you exist your life turning into some kind of existence which feels like doesn't make any sense at all at least that's how i was feeling that's how i was going through it was more things which with oh my god this english it was really a lot of things which i was going through right now i can't remember them all because in otherwise it would be it will be very long video one moment when i was still thinking about the therapy i realized that okay maybe i will do that later and i completely forgot about it i was like okay i can do everything by myself i will just ignore it i will become some kind of like a thunder woman without any emotions ak I thought it means strong, but it turned out that some people just thought that I'm, I don't know, mean person or angry person or sort of like that. I don't remember. <laughs> and I remember 2020 really hit me a lot because since I left my country, since I'm living um, in UK, five years I already live here and I became more social I became more like a balanced extrovert slash introvert and I was very happy with that for me staying at home it was a little bit sad and like roughly speaking nothing to do I was like always asking my friends to go out to like go somewhere have some fun but 2020 hit me a lot when I was stuck at home especially my previous property was not that good <laughs> it was very bad like a studio flat which was like a boiler like a heater and during the summer UK is massively hot and if you are from the north country where for you 25 degrees is already like a Miami Beach then um, in UK, summer can hit up to 30 degrees and I was like a fucking chicken in oven, I believe so it was horrible, it was disgusting, I was so sweaty just like a lockdown as well, where you barely can go somewhere when your room becoming some kind of like a boiler, you know and it's just like was pushing my mental health I remember at that time I was so... I closed myself, I was so shut down so I was so afraid that my partner would just leave me because I became some kind of piece of lame 
I was so lame, I was so sad, depressed, I tried, I didn't try anything even to help myself out and I, and I remember I was crying like during the night just like I hide my tears from my partner so she could not hear how am I crying because I was so embarrassed to show my tears don't know how about you guys but personally I am this type of people who is like quite shy to cry in front of someone and especially close to one's people because Personally, I want to show them that I'm strong, that I can do it, no any tears can't destroy me. I'm not saying that tears are for the weak people, no. Tears is actually a good thing, but not for me. For me, it's like something different. In my head, there is a different things which are applying to myself and which is not actually connected to my words and the reality sometimes because I can say tears are like um, for me it's like something unacceptable but crying is good do you see the sense? me neither <laughs> I remember it was the time when I came back to work when everyone were like thirsty for life uh, customers being sort of rude to you as well because again i keep saying that hospitality in you know, some moments is very ungrateful job <laughs> in these moments you could very very taste it in a very different colorful tastier ways and it's also was pushing me as well and also my mentality where i was saying like okay i'm ugly i'm disgusting i'm horrible i'm bad self-abuse i remember i chose self-abuse also which didn't help my mentality at all it just made it worse it could end up that i had some kind of eating disorders you know kind of like starving myself because i was thinking i don't deserve food because i'm like bad i did something and i don't deserve food for that it was horrible i suffered from these demons in my head very long time and i just had a couple of mental breakdowns due to just like self-abuse, uh, studies, work, it just like was everything pressuring me. I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know how to ask help. I didn't know. I didn't know that I can ask help. I didn't realize that. And I just remember this year, 2021, in January, I found like a psychology platform with the help where you can uh, register yourself and you can ask help from a therapy it was january i remember that but just in case it's like a russian speaking platform so if you don't speak russian unfortunately i can't advise you this platform because it's only for russian speakers and yeah and i remember that i found this platform through the instagram advertise also, some of the Russian bloggers which I follow, they've been advising the, this platform. And I was like, okay, let me just have a look. Let me just try. I realized that for me, it wasn't hard to like investigate um, this uh, social platform. For me, it wasn't hard to fill up this teeny tiny questionnaire about how you feel, how do you sleep, from what you're suffering through. I remember that for me, it wasn't even hard to choose the, the list of psychologists which were shown up uh, through my questionnaire. Personally, for me, I don't prioritize the gender. For me, it's fine to work with the female therapist and also with the male therapist. I don't know how about you. If you would like to uh, comment about it, please do that. For me, the hardest part was to make it real. It was so hard to choose the date, um, availability for psychologists to have the first session with you and press the confirmation button. It was insane. It was impossible for me. I remember when I wanted to do that, my brain was just shutting down like everything is black, blurry. It feels like all my mind was in a deep silence and I didn't know what to do. I was panicking. I was like, what if 
during the session, during those 15 minutes, my psychologist will say that I'm drama queen. My my thoughts, my my those bad voices are just like a can. Uh, my my imagination are just made up. It's not real. That all my problems don't have a value. And I was afraid that someone will tell me that. I was really, really afraid that someone will say that. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. I was really afraid that someone will say that. It just again my imagination and I made up. I just made up becoming just a drama queen and that's it, just like go away I think those thoughts, these really really bad thoughts was were keeping me away to really ask help from a therapy in January I discovered a social platform end of January, beginning of February I had a very deep mental breakdown I remember myself crying be before starting my, uh, my shift it was like, okay, this is the signal, this is the alert for me to be brave enough, shut down those bad thoughts and just ask help. That's it. And I believe in March, in the end of uh, February, I really, really did my first appointment for the therapy. I was like texting my partner saying like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so scared, I can't do that. She was like saying, you can't do it, just press. Do you want me to do that for you? And I was like, no, no, I need to do that by myself. Why? Because I can do that. I am strong. I'm strong. And I just uh, remember how happy I was feeling when I finally pressed a confirmation button. I was like, who? Am I did it? Oh my god. <laughs> It was insane. It was happiness. It was sort of like, and get belief is true. No, no, no. It's that. That's a dream. It can be true. It was so unrealistic in my mind, and at the same time, so real. It just I can't explain it properly. You, you just need to go through that. And I really wish, I really wish that you will do the same if you are suffering for something. Even if it feels like it's something teeny tiny bit which can disappear at any time by some kind of magic that you think that you don't want to work it out or talk about it with someone, you should. So please help someone out, help yourself, ask for help. There is nothing bad to ask help. Please stay safe, mentally healthy, physically healthy. I'm really grateful for you to watching this video. You can't imagine how, how grateful I am for all the support that you gave me guys in a previous video. Wow, I never expected to hit like a hundred views in the one week. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was so like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm really unexpectedly happy because I didn't expect such a high support. I really hope that with this video you can relate yourself or you can relate to your friends, your family members or people just who you know and you can help them out. Like this video, dislike this video, it's completely up to you. Subscribe to my channel to see upcoming amazing videos which I will try all my best to do and thank you for watching this video it's a very important video for me please stay safe and thank you very much see you next time bye